Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm just going to do this little mini painting here and show you step by step how I go about it. I'll be working uh, with oils but you can use any medium that you like, acrylic or even watercolours, pastels, just whatever you've got on hand. Um, just have fun with it and give it a go. Uh, Alright, I'm going to start. To begin with, I've put out some colour. We've got some Australian blue, some Prussian, titanium white, <laughs> and red. We've got sap green, yellow green, Naples yellow, bright yellow, and some purple. I'm going to mix one more colour that I need because I haven't got it with me at the moment. So I'm just going to take a bit of phthalo green and a bit of this yellow try not to mix them too much and just mixing up a nice sort of light green and I think that's probably good enough actually now the tools I'm using this is as you can see just a plastic palette knife I've also got an old rag to wipe excess paint I'll be using these different brushes. I've got a little small flat and just some other flat brushes here, smaller, finer one here. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm working on this little board here which I've just gessoed. To begin with, I'm just going to I also have this some linseed oil in this tin, just as a medium to make spread spread the paint out easier. So to begin with, I'm going to do a little quick sketch, just with some dark colour. Purple is good colour. I'm going to have my horizon line up about here. Then we're going to have a mountain. Some trees here, might put some more trees in here, probably put in a little cabin or something up there. And this is going to be a, just a meadow of sort of a, lots of grasses and some wildflowers at the front here. So if you go ahead and just do a quick sketch like that, that's all you need to do really to start off. Now I'm going to start painting. I'm going to put in some sky colour which is this nice cerulean blue. You don't have to have the same colours as me either. You can just use whatever you've got on hand. Put a bit of white in there. And when my brush gets too much um, paint on it I'll just wipe excess off. Now to start with I always, doesn't matter if you go over your sketch either because really the start of the sketch is just to let you know where things are. Might just change the shape of that a little. A bit more interesting. Now I'm just going to put in a bit of foreground colour. One colour that I've forgotten to put out is some yellow ochre. I have a lot of that colour around Central Otago. And be quite loose. I'm you know, just at this stage, this is just the background colours going in. Just put a bit more yellow ochre in there. Maybe a bit of purple at the front here, sort of help tie in all the colour as well. And 
going to use a bit of dark green for these background trees. And now I'm going to use a bit of palette knife. Now if you haven't got a palette knife, you could probably just use your brush in any way. And all you do, if, you've, if you're just still using a brush, just load it up extra thick. So you can just put it on. I'm putting a bit of snow up there. So that's with the brush, with the palette knife. I'm going to put it along the top here and I sort of drag it down into that purple colour. I'm going to bring it across here. Might add a bit of the sky colour into the mountain there. And it doesn't matter if colour mixes in with each other, it actually makes it more interesting. In the sky, I'm just going to put a bit more blue. And now I'm going to finish off this, these trees. These are sort of like willow trees I'm putting in. So I put the dark colour on over top of the purple and now I'm adding the light colour. And I'll show you how I do that with a brush if you haven't got a palette knife. Just loading it up extra and you're just grabbing a lot more paint, putting it on. This is sort of like a pine tree. Put the dark colours on first then you put your lighter ones on top. Now for the foreground, just going to quickly use my palette knife again, lighten up some areas and I'm sort of dragging it around a bit, down, downward and when the colours mix I wipe my palette knife and grab a new colour. I'm going to put a bit of purple in. Purple is a good shadow colour. There's a touch of red that you see, that I see in the fields here. It's sort of a purpley red, so I'm going to add a bit of that in. A bit of contrast. Now if you're using your brush, you can just Put it on like this. Might just drag that across there a little. It sort of pushes those trees back. A bit more yellow ochre. And at the base of the hill, sometimes we see a touch of green in the hills at the base, so I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. And then for the foreground, very front foreground, I'm just going to add a little touch of yellow in there. I'm going to try and mix all around the board just to help everything connect. Now as we get closer to the front you're going to get bolder and bigger with your strokes. Things are up close. You can use your knife to do all sorts of mark making. Probably just put a bit more More dark colour in the front there. And around here we get what we call uh, blue borage growing everywhere, or Vipers blue goss is the actual name for it. So I'm just going to add a bit touch, like just an impression of it. 
and just so that just lighten it up a bit so we know that there's more growing further afield I'm going to add some just in the just random areas and remember to bring your colour right to the edge out to the edge here so it doesn't look like it's all in the centre and you can get your brush and just blend some areas and now I'll just quickly put in my little cabin I'm going to have a red roof and it's sitting right at the top of this hill here basically you're just doing a triangle shape so I did that triangle and now I'm just going to add a dark underneath to indicate the building and stretch it out that way put a bit of red on top and this is where you can use your palette knife or brush and just put a little bit of colour underneath It doesn't have to be perfect, remember that this is all just experimenting, having fun. Might just add a touch of lighter green on here. I did that by just adding a bit more yellow into my green. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this. And remember you can slow down this video at any time or stop to follow along. Sounds like my kettle's going, so I'm going. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.